welcome back to Banana Town. I recognise some of you. You've been here before. My name is Hayley and in today's video I'm going to talk to you all about the letter A. A is for apple. I love to eat apples. They're so yummy and delicious and really healthy. Apples are great as a healthy snack and they're even better in an apple pie. A is for aeroplane. Aeroplanes fly so high up in the sky. They can take you on holiday anywhere around the world. A is for ants. Ants are super tiny little insects. But don't let their size fool you. They are mega strong and they love to work hard as part of a team. Next time you're in your garden, see how many ants you can find. A is for ambulance. Have you seen those blue flashing lights? The ambulance will take you to the hospital if you need a doctor to make you feel better. A is for arm. Arms help you carry things and they really help when you're swimming in the pool but they're even better for giving cuddles. A is for armadillo. Armadillos love to eat insects and plants. They're omnivores. Armadillos have tiny little legs but they are really, really fast. Have you been having fun? Are you ready for a super exciting video where I'm going to be talking all about the letter B? B is for bicycle. I love to ride my bicycle. I like to ride to the park with my friends. Bicycles have two wheels and it's one of the most fun things that you can do. B is for ball. I love playing catch with my ball and some of my friends like to play football. What's your favourite ball game? B is for blue. Blue is my most favourite colour. Blue is the colour of my eyes and the colour of the sea and the colour of the sky. B is for bath. Now I love to have a bath at the end of the day it helps keep you clean and relaxed, ready for bed. Put lots of bubbles in your bath next time. B is for bumblebee. Bumblebees like to pollinate flowers and make honey. I love yummy honey. But don't be scared of bumblebees. They will only sting you if they are scared. B is for bear. Bears are one of my favourite animals. Which bear is your favourite? Polar bear, panda bear, grizzly brown bear. They can be found everywhere. I can't believe that we're already on the letter C. C is for cat. Cats make great pets. How many of you have a cat? Wow, that is a lot. Cats like to say meow. C is for candle. Candles are made of wax and you can light them when it's dark. People used to use candles before we had electric lights. C is for crocodile. Crocodiles have really sharp teeth and they go snap, snap, snap. They have super long tails and used to live with the dinosaurs. C is for candy. Now candy is super yummy but make sure you don't eat too much because it will be really bad for your teeth. C is for car. Do you go out in your mummy or daddy's car? Cars go vroom, vroom, vroom 
and they have steering wheels to take us over here and over there. C is for crab. Crabs live near the sea and they have pinchers that go like this. Have you ever seen a crab walk sideways? Are you ready for the next letter of the alphabet? Today we're going to be talking all about the letter D. D is for dog. Dogs are one of my most favourite animals. They make great pets and they're so much fun to take to the park and play catch a ball with. D is for diamond. Diamonds are super sparkly expensive stones and you find them deep within the mountains. D is for dolphin. Dolphins live in the sea. They love to eat fish and they're incredibly smart. D is for dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived over 165 million years ago. Wow, what's your favourite dinosaur? D is for doll. Lots of people like to play with dolls. You can pretend to cuddle them and feed them and they're really good for getting ready to have a baby brother or sister. D is for door. Do you have a door at the front of your house? It helps keep out the wind and the weather. We can shut the door but be careful you don't trap your fingers. That might hurt. I'm so excited about the next letter of the alphabet. It's the letter E. E is for elephant. Elephants are super big and strong animals. Some of them have tusks, but not all of them. They're super smart and have a great memory. E is for eggs. I love to eat eggs as part of my breakfast in the morning. Did you know that chickens lay eggs? E is for Earth. We all live on the planet Earth. Earth is one of the many planets in the solar system and it goes all the way around the sun. E is for eye. We have two eyes but they come in all different colours. What colour are your eyes? I use my eyes, my blue eyes, to see with. E is for ear. We have two ears and that's how we can hear. So next time your mummy or daddy call you, be sure to listen. E is for elf. Elves are great for helping Father Christmas around this time of year. Elves are little and they dress in red and green. Are you ready for the next letter of the alphabet? Today I'm going to be talking all about the letter F. F is for fish. Fish like to swim in the water, in the sea, the ocean, the lakes. They are all different beautiful colours. F is for family. I love spending time with my family. Do you have a brother or a sister? F is for flower. I love to go in the garden and smell all of the beautiful flowers. I love the red ones and the pink ones. They are so beautiful. F is for football. My friends love to play football. They love to kick the ball back and forth. Do you support a football team? F is for fire. Fire is used to keep us warm and to cook our food. But be really careful and don't touch the fire. It will burn you. F is for frog. Frogs go ribbit, 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 ribbit. You can find frogs usually near the water and they love to eat flies with their long tongues. I'm so glad you all came back because today we're going to be talking all about the letter G. G is for gorilla. Gorillas are super strong animals. They're part of the ape family. They love to eat plants and they live in the jungle. G is for guitar. 
Guitar is a type of musical instrument. It has six strings. People play it. It sounds lovely. Have any of you tried to play a guitar? G is for giraffe. Giraffes are really easy to spot with their super long necks. They live in Africa and are the tallest land animal on this planet. G is for green. I love the colour green. It's the colour of the grass and the trees. Do any of you have green eyes? G is for glove. Gloves are great at keeping your hands warm in the winter. If it's too cold, I always wear my gloves. G is for glass. Sometimes I like to pour a drink into my glass. But be careful, if it breaks, glass is very, very sharp. Always ask somebody to help you clear up. Are you ready for the next letter? Today is the letter H. H is for house. Houses have lots of different rooms. Bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchen, and it's where we live with our family. H is for hand. I have two hands and I like to use my hands to do high fives with. H is for helicopter. Helicopters are a little bit like aeroplanes. We travel in them high up in the sky and they have propellers that go chuka 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 H is for heart. We all have hearts inside our chests. They pump the blood all over our bodies and keep us healthy. H is for horse. Have you ever ridden a horse? Horses are really strong and fast animals. Maybe they sometimes live at a farm. H is for hat. When it's super cold, I like to put on my winter hat to keep my ears warm. And in the sunshine, I like to put on a baseball cap to keep the sun out of my eyes. Remember, H is also for Hayley. And that's my name. Are you as excited as I am? Today, I'm going to be talking all about the letter I. I is for igloo. Igloos are a type of house. They are carved out of ice by the Eskimos. Can you believe that when they light a fire inside the igloo, it doesn't melt? I is for ice cream. Ice cream is one of my favourite desserts. I love strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. What's your favourite flavour ice cream? I is for island. An island is a piece of land that is surrounded by a sea or an ocean. If you live in the UK like me, you too live on an island. I is for iron. An iron is what your mummy or daddy used to get the creases out of your clothes. But be careful, don't touch. It's mega hot. I is for iguana. Iguana is a type of lizard. They are reptiles and they have really long tongues. Some people have them as pets. I is for Indian. Indians are indigenous people to a country. That means they were there first. Some like to hunt with bows and arrows and have fancy feathers as a headdress. Today, I'm going to be talking all about the letter J. J is for jacket. I like to wear my cosy jacket in the winter. It keeps me warm when it's cold outside. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish live in the sea. They have really long tentacles, but be careful, they could sting you. J is for jog. Jog is just a slower form of running. I like to jog to see my friends. It's a great way to exercise. J is for Jaguar. Jaguars are wild cats that are native to the Americas. They like to live and hunt on their own. J 
is for juice. I like to have an orange juice with my breakfast in the morning, but you can make juice out of almost any fruit and vegetable. J is for jam. Who of you puts jam on your toast? Jam is made out of all different types of fruits and you put it in a jam jar. What's your favourite flavour jam? Are you super excited to learn all about the letter K? K is for kite. Traditional kites are in the shape of diamonds. You can fly them super high up in the sky. You just need a really windy day. K is for kangaroo. Kangaroos are animals native to Australia. They're marsupials and carry their babies in a pouch on their belly. They have really strong legs and jump super high. K is for king. Some countries have a royal family and the king or queen is the head of the royal family. Have you ever seen those beautiful crowns? K is for keys. You can use your keys to lock things like a car or a door. Make sure you lock your house up at night. K is for knife. I use a knife to prepare my food but never ever use a knife without the supervision of an adult. It could cut you. K is for kiwi. Kiwi is a super delicious fruit. It's full of vitamin C and on the outside it's green and fluffy. If you haven't tried one before, make sure you try one next time. I'm super excited to tell you all about the letter L. L is for lemon. Lemons are delicious citrus fruits. They are yellow but sometimes taste a little bit sour and make you pull a really funny face. L is for lion. Lions are one of the great five animals of Africa. They are big wild cats and it's easy to tell whether they are male or female because the male have the beautiful head of hair called a mane. L is for lamp. Lamps allow us to see in the dark. I like to put my bedside lamp on at night to read a book before I go to sleep. L is for leaf. A leaf is found all over the trees. Have you ever noticed that some leaves stay on the trees all year round and then other ones like to fall off in the autumn? L is for ladybird. Ladybirds are super tiny little flying insects. They are red and black and have spots on their back. They're really friendly and you can even put one on your finger and watch it crawl. L is for ladder. Ladders are like stairs. They help you climb things that are really high, like the roof of your house. But make sure only an adult climbs a ladder. Are you ready to learn all about the letter M? M is for monkey. Monkeys are primates. There are so many different types of monkeys, about 260, and most of them like to live in the trees. M is for mountain. Mountains are really tall hills. Some of them are so high up in the sky, you can see the snow on top. M is for mouth. We use our mouths to speak and eat with. As you can tell, I like to talk a lot. M is for mug. Your mummy and daddy might have their tea or coffee in a mug. Next time you ask for a glass of water, why not have it in a mug? M is for moon. The moon is part of our solar system and it goes all the way around the earth. When the sun goes down, we can see the moon out at night. M is for mushroom. Some mushrooms we can eat. The ones your mum and dad prepare for you are fine and really healthy, but some of them are 
very poisonous and we definitely shouldn't eat them. Let's get straight on in and talk about the letter N. N is for noodles. Noodles are a yummy food and they are long and wriggly like long curly hair. Some are made out of rice and others are made out of egg. N is for nurse. You will find a nurse in a hospital or a doctor's surgery. They are there to help make you feel better. N is for nose. We use our noses to help us breathe. And we can smell through our nose. But when you get a cold, sometimes it gets blocked. N is for nest. Birds like to make nests to keep as their houses. They pick up sticks and leaves and make a nest to lay their eggs in. N is for nails. We grow nails at the end of our fingers. They can grow really long and come in handy Ooh, when you get an itch on your body. N is for nectarine. Nectarines are my most favourite fruit. They're super yummy and juicy and the colour of my t-shirt. Today I'm going to tell you all about the letter O. O is for octopus. You can find an octopus in the sea and the ocean. They have eight limbs that we call tentacles. They are super intelligent. O is for orange. Orange is part of the citrus fruit family. I love to eat oranges. They smell and taste delicious. Great as a snack or part of a fruit salad. O is for owl. An owl is a nocturnal bird. That means that they are asleep during the day and awake at night. Their vision and their hearing is so good in the dark. O is for ostrich. An ostrich is the biggest land bird on planet Earth. They may have wings, but they cannot fly. They're much too heavy, but they run super fast. O is for oval. Oval is a shape, a little bit like a squashed circle. It is the shape of an egg or our face. O is for ocean. When you look at a map of the world, it's covered in blue. That is some of our oceans. Have you been to the beach and swam in the ocean? Are you ready to learn with me all about the letter P? P is for penguin. Penguin is a super cool bird that loves to live in the coldest of climates. It may be a bird, but it can't fly. It walks super funny and it is a great swimmer. P is for pig. Pigs are lovely animals. They're really friendly and very smart. Have you ever seen a pig at your local farm? P is for pizza. Mmm, one of my favourite dinners is pizza. It's a bread base from Italy with all the toppings that you like. P is for pineapple. Pineapples are exotic citrus fruits. They're really prickly on the outside but juicy and yellow and soft on the inside. P is for police. The police are there to make our streets safe. If ever you have a problem, you can always call the police. P is for pirates. Pirates like to sail the seas in search of treasure. They sail in great big ships all around the world. Are you ready to learn alongside me all about the letter Q? Q is for Queen. Queens are the head of the royal family. If you live in England like me, you probably know Queen Elizabeth II. She lives in a big castle. Q is for Quilt. 
I have a quilt on top of my bed. It keeps me really warm in the winter and helps me get a great night's sleep. Q is for quail. Quail is part of the poultry bird family. They lay super tiny little eggs. Q is for question. If you don't know something, you must ask a question. It's a great way to learn. Q is for quiet. If somebody is sleeping or if you're in a library, you must try and make no noise and be quiet. Q is for quiver. A quiver is the holder that people used to carry to put their arrows in. The Indians used to make their quivers from animal skin. I want to tell you all about the letter R. R is for rainbow. Rainbows are formed when light passes through particles of water. They create beautiful arcs of colour. Have you ever noticed it needs to have been raining and sunny all at the same time to get a rainbow? R is for rose. Rose is my favourite type of flower. I like the red ones, the pink ones, the yellow ones. Look for roses out next time you go for a walk. R is for robot. Robots are clever machines that are built to do things. You also get toy robots. R is for rhino. Rhinos are massive animals that are endangered, which means there aren't many left in the wild. They have a really thick skin and a horn. R is for ring. Ring is a piece of jewellery that you put on your fingers, made out of all types of metals and some of them have really shiny pretty stones. R is for rocket. We built the rockets so that they could go high up into space and find out things about all the other planets that we don't know about yet. I'm so ready to learn all about the letter S. S is for star. There are millions and millions of stars up in the sky. They twinkle so bright because they are made out of gases that burn like balls of fire, just like our sun. S is for sand. Sand is made when rocks and shells erode down into particles. They are found at the beach. I love to make sandcastles. S is for spider. Spiders are arachnids, which means they have eight legs. But don't be too scared of spiders. They are more scared of us. S is for smile. Smiling is a great way to meet new friends. I love it when somebody walks past and smiles at me because it means they're happy. S is for school. School is the place where we go to learn things. It's full of teachers and classrooms and we learn fun interesting lessons like maths and science. S is for skeleton. Skeleton is all of our bones collected together. It's what we have inside of us, keeping us upright and allowing us to dance. I'm so happy to see you and I'm even more happy to tell you all about the letter T. T is for train. Trains are a great way to travel long or short distances. They go across train tracks and they go choo choo. T is for turtle. Turtles live in the water. They swim long distances and have hard shells. I swam next to a turtle in Mexico. T is for tomato. Tomatoes are actually fruits. They are incredibly healthy for you and great as part of a salad. T is for teacher. When you're at school, it's your teacher who takes your lessons. 
they're great people to ask lots of questions and learn from. T is for triangle. Triangle is a cool shape. It's made out of three connecting lines. Try and draw a triangle, any length lines you like. T is for television. The television is a great place to watch educational programs, but don't watch too much. Make sure you have plenty of time to play with your friends outside. I'm super happy to see you because today I'm going to tell you all about the letter U. U is for umbrella. Umbrellas are great when it's raining outside because you just put up your umbrella and it stops you from getting wet. U is for ukulele. A ukulele is a type of string instrument. It looks just like a small guitar, but it has four strings and makes super happy music. U is for uniform. Uniform is a type of clothing where we all look the same. You might wear a uniform to school and adults wear uniforms as part of a job, like a policeman. U is for unicycle. A unicycle is like a bike but with one wheel. That must be so hard to ride. U is for unicorn. Unicorn is a mythological creature. It looks just like a horse but it has a huge horn on the front of its head. U is for uncle. The uncle is the brother of either your mum or your dad. So he's part of your family. How many of you have uncles? I'm here today to tell you all about the letter V. V is for violin. Violin is a string instrument. You put it on your shoulder, hold it with your hand and play beautiful music with a bow. V is for vegetables. Vegetables are a group of foods, probably the most important foods that we can eat because they have lots and lots of minerals and vitamins. What's your favourite vegetable? V is for vocabulary. Vocabulary is made up of lots and lots of words and how we put our language together. This is what we're doing now together, learning words. V is for volcano. Volcano is like a massive mountain on the land and in the sea. Inside it's super hot and when there's lots of pressure it explodes lava which is burning hot molten rock. V is for volleyball. Volleyball is a type of ball game. People like to play it on the beach. You play with your hands and don't let that ball hit the ground. V is for van. A van is a really big car. You use it to transport things in. If ever you've moved house, maybe you used a van to move your bed. Are you ready to learn all about the letter W? W is for water. Water is the most important thing that we can drink. It helps keep us hydrated and helps keep our body working properly. It's tasteless and odourless and completely transparent. W is for window. We have windows inside our house. They are made of glass so we can see outside and they're great for opening to let the fresh air in. W is for wall. Walls are what make the outside of our house and separate the inside to create new rooms. W is for watch. A watch is an accessory that we wear on our wrists. They tell us exactly what time it is. Can you tell the time? W is for wheel. Wheels are round and help objects to move. Cars have four wheels and bikes have two. W is for wallet. A wallet is a great place to store money and cards. You can keep it in your pocket or in a bag.
I'm so ready to learn all about the letter X. X is for xylophone. Xylophone is a percussion instrument, which means you need to hit it with a stick. It's made out of metal pieces, and when you ding, 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 you make a beautiful sound. X is for X-ray. An X-ray is what doctors use to see inside our bodies. If ever you broke a bone, you probably have seen it on an X-ray. Now guys, X is actually really difficult to find common words that begin with that letter. So I'm going to tell you some letters that contain the letter X. The first one is Fox. Fox is a type of animal that loves to hunt at night. They are mammals. They look kind of like dogs, but with a really bushy tail. Another word containing the letter X is axe. An axe is a tool. It helps people to chop down trees and make logs. You need to be really strong because it's really heavy. Another word containing the letter X is box. We use boxes to contain things in and store them. They are made out of cardboard, metal, plastic. You can send things in boxes or just store them at home. Another word containing the letter X is six. Six is a number. It's the one after the number five and before seven. How many of you are six years old? Ready to learn all about the letter Y? Y is for yoghurt. Yoghurt is a yummy food made out of milk. It can contain fruits of all different kinds. If it doesn't have too much sugar, it's actually really healthy. Y is for yoga. Yoga is a type of exercise that people have been doing for thousands of years. It's not only great for stretching and relaxing, but it also makes you really strong. Y is for yellow. Yellow is a happy colour. It's the colour of the sun and the sand and fruits like bananas and lemons. Y is for yolk. The yolk is the centre of the egg, full of goodness. I love to dip my toast into a runny yolk. Y is for yo-yo. Yo-yo is a really cool toy. It's plastic and round and you put the string on your finger and watch it go up and down and up and down. Y is for yacht. A yacht is a type of boat and the boat sails out onto the open seas. I love boats. I'm so happy to have you back and guess what? We're at the last letter of the alphabet. It's the letter Z. Z is for zebra. Zebra is an animal native to Africa. Kind of looks like a horse, but it definitely isn't. It's very recognisable with its black and white stripes. Z is for zip. We have zips on our clothing and on bags. We use it on our clothing to keep things done up, so we keep the cold out. Z is for zoo. Zoos are places that house all different animals from all over the world. It's a great place to educate yourself about animals. Maybe you can ask your friends and family to take you to a zoo. Z is for zigzag. Zigzags are crazy lines that don't know what direction to go in. They go left and right and left and right and left and right. Z is for zero. Zero is a number, the start of all numbers. But when you mix it with other numbers, it becomes bigger, like a one and zero become ten. Z is for zoom. A zoom is what we have on our cameras. The zoom lets us get closer and closer to an object without even moving. 
How cool is that? Just like a telescope. That is a great zoom. I really hope you've enjoyed learning all about the alphabet with me. If you haven't watched all of the videos, why not go back again and start from the letter A? It's been a lot of fun. See you next time, guys. Stay curious. Bye. Thanks for watching, beautiful people. Hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and make sure you've subscribed so we keep in touch. In the meantime, watch one of these two videos or go on, check out our whole playlist. See ya.